Our neighbor to the north, Canada is America's number one trade partner. And culturally, it has a lot in common with the United States. But that doesn't mean that doing business there is just like it is with customers right down the street. Under the North American Free Trade Agreement, duties on most products are zero. But shipments of goods above a certain value, 2,500 Canadian dollars, need a NAFTA certificate of origin. Different taxes and tax rates may apply. In addition, regulations governing certain industries may be different than those in the U.S. For example, product packaging requires labeling in English and French, with additional requirements for products sold in Quebec. E-commerce is a great way to sell directly to Canadian customers and retailers. Making your sale as transparent as possible will help encourage Canadians to purchase from your site. This might include quoting prices in Canadian dollars on your website or using the non-resident importer program to identify all costs up front and ease the movement of goods across the border. Selling to Canadians often requires finding a Canadian distributor or partner. Trade shows in Canada can help you find them. The U.S. Commercial Service has offices and market experts across Canada who can help you research, plan, and execute your market entry strategy. So what else do you need to know before selling your goods to our neighbors to the north? And why should a U.S. company export to Canada? Canada is, is bilingual officially. Uh, it's an it's a a English and French speaking country. Uh, especially when you're in the east of Canada, this is really important. Uh, I also uh, think it's important for U.S. companies to know that Canada is, is, a, is a large country. Uh, in fact, it's larger than the United States in terms of footprint, a country of 36 million people. Um, uh, but a very diverse uh, group of people as you move from, from west to east or east to west. Number one is the biggest market for U.S. exporters. Uh, it is the closest market for U.S. exporters as vicinity, proximity geographically and also as cultural business. It is a safe market and uh, it is a growing market. Vicinity, proximity geographically gives a lot of uh, advantages uh, from saving costs for logistics, transportation. There are several very high-tech sectors. Um, I would start with um, Number one, of course, automotive. It's a very highly integrated sector between the United States and Canada. As a matter of fact, industry knows that one component, a bolt and nut or a part in an auto, in a car, is actually crossing the border between US and Canada about seven or eight times until the car goes out of the assembly line. So it, it's a very big opportunity in there and very integrated. There are also other sectors like, uh, I would say, um, aviation, airspace. The market reports from the U.S. Department of Commerce are classifying Canada as number one market for renewable energy uh, technologies. Environment is a big one because of the push from the both federal and provincial level in Canada in, with policies and regulations to develop and to protect the environment. I think it's important f in terms of uh, the Canadian culture for, for U.S. companies going into the market to not make too many assumptions about it being the same as the U.S. And you have to respect the Canadian culture because it is a, it is a different culture. I think a lot of U.S. companies going into the market uh, may not understand the diversity of the Canadian culture. Uh, the waves of, of immigrants, uh, especially over the, the last uh, uh, 20, 30 years, have been, have been huge and in the face of of, of Canada has been changed dramatically. There are many more similarities in doing e-commerce in Canada than there are differences. Um, in fact, uh, the cross-border trade in e-commerce uh, is, is a big part of that $2 billion a day trade between the United States and Canada. Many U.S. companies can effectively use their, their U.S. Uh, e-commerce platforms to do business in Canada. I'd say the biggest difference is that you have to be able to price your product in Canadian dollars as well as uh, American dollars uh, to be effective um, uh, and, and to have a way for Canadian buyers to pay uh, Canadian sales tax. I would say again there's there's a lot with the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar um, and wanting to make sure that you're working with the, um, 
the, the right dollar amount sometimes when you sit, when you give proposals and you give financials and you say, okay, here's the price, and they're like, that's Can Canadian dollars, right? And, you're, and you forget that you actually gave in U.S. dollars. U.S. exporters should consider exporting to Canada because, um, uh, frankly, it's, it's, it's relatively easy compared to many of the other markets. And in fact, many U.S. companies are already doing business with Canada and, and don't even realize it uh, because of how easy it is to do business. Want to learn more about exporting to Canada? Explore the Canada Country Commercial Guide on export.gov or connect with a U.S. Commercial Service trade professional. Brought to you by the U.S. Commercial Service, part of the U.S. Department of Commerce's International Trade Administration.